your morning creativity class and welcome to Arts and Crafts with Miss Elizabeth. So today we are going to make um, a flower craft made from recycled materials because Miss Lorraine and Miss Marie have created um, another uh, theme for this week for you guys which is the earth and um, recycled materials. So um, first things first is I've, I've sent a picture of this, which is basically what we're going to need for um, this craft to cut out all the different pieces that we have. Um, so I have a couple of recycled materials that I have. And I know I said no plastic. I have mostly all paper, but um, I accidentally recycled <laughs> my materials before so I had to kind of scavenge for this stuff. So I have mostly paper materials. I just have a little bit of plastic. We're going to see if this is going to work but if not I'll just cut extra out of the paper materials that I have. Um, we'll need a pair of scissors, um, a marker, I just any colored marker works perfectly for you. And then um, if you have white glue you have a glue stick or if you have tape I'm, I'll show you how to do all of them and we'll make sure that we can use what we have and then we need just any piece of paper that you decide to use so I think and it, it should be colored paper um, if you have access to it if not it's all right um, if you just have white paper you can just try to make it more colorful with um, the recycled material that you use or you can even use a marker and just color what you want to color in the background. I'm going to use blue. Let's see if I can get it in. So I have my blue piece of paper. We can go ahead and begin cutting. So now that we have our colored piece of paper that we chose, it doesn't matter what color, I just decided to choose blue. And we have the stencil that I sent a picture of. So if you just print this out, um, I have mommy and daddy help you print this out, then you can cut these things out. So I'm going to go ahead and use my scissors. And I will start cutting the stem. Along the line, and what we're going to do with this stencil is we're going to trace trace with the marker on the recycled material that we have. So then we have a flower. Let's cut this bottom part off. So now I have the flower stem and then this is going to be for a petal and we're going to cut out eight petals. So I'm going to cut around this to make it easier to cut because if we have the whole piece of paper there it's kind of tricky. So we'll cut around the edge. You can take whatever time you need for this because it's kind of hard coming around the edge. So you can be patient with how quickly you cut. Okay, there we go. Now I have my little, sorry, my little petal. Okay, so so now that we have all of our pieces cut out, this is everything that I've sent you um, in picture form, which has this little center circle, it has one petal, and then it has the stem. Oops. Okay, so um, what we want to do now is, I'm gonna put this stuff to the side. We want to take our marker and it's a good idea to try to have something to color on just like what we did last week. 
I'm going to take this. This is a tea box that I have. And it doesn't really matter where you decide to, to use, what part you decide to use, but you want to kind of break it apart if you're able to. So then we can make it smaller. Oops. I want to kind of flatten it out so it's like this. Okay, because then that makes it easier for us to be able to trace on it. There we go. Now this is all flat. Okay, so um, I'm actually going to use this for the stem because I like that it has some green in it. So we want the colored part to be showing we want to turn it over. I guess, I don't know if the inside would be colored on everything, but we want the outside to be showing. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take the stencil and I'm going to put it onto this piece that I've chosen. And we're gonna take our marker. And we're gonna trace around it. Oops. It's okay to slow down because sometimes it's easy to. There we go. It's easy to make a mistake, which is okay. Just as long as we take our time and we go all the way around and trace to the best of our ability. Oopsie. And then just one more side. And it's okay if you get marker on your fingers. I'm only getting some on there. It might get a little messy, but that's all right. It's part of art. Okay, so here's what we have. So we're actually all done with this piece because there's only one stem on a flower. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out with my scissors. Turn the paper. Turn the paper. Until we're all the way done. There we go. And then this is what our stem looks like. So our stem will will go on our piece of paper like this. There we are. Okay, so now that we have our stem, um, we want to cut out our middle, middle, our little middle <laughs> circle piece. So we can choose um, anything else that we, have, I'm going to use this paper bag. It's kind of wrinkly, but that's okay. So we can kind of flatten it out. And then I'm going to, I'm actually going to cut a piece out to make it easier. So I'll just cut this out here. Be careful with your fingers. There we are. Okay, and if we put that flat on the table, we put our little stencil on there. And we can just color around. To the best of our ability. Okay, there we are. Once we've traced that, we can go ahead and cut that out. So we'll just cut around in the line.
then that's our little circle right there. Okay, and then the last thing that we want to cut out is we want to cut out some petals, but we do need um, eight of these petals. So I'm going to cut a little bit off of this one. So I can kind of rip this off. So I have the piece here. I have this other box so I can, we can kind of break it apart the best that we can. We don't want to rip it too much because then we won't have something to draw on. But if we can rip it just a little bit, try to do it along the edges, then we can have a flat piece. Okay, so some of this is red, some of it's blue, so I'll do, maybe I could do a couple from this one. And then I love this color. We have some black on this one, and then some blue, a granola bar. That could be kind of fun to have. So I'll break this one up. Okay, so now that I have these pieces, I'll put that to the side. I want one on here. So we will trace around. There's one. Yes, now I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And you can decide to trace all eight of them at once, or you can do what I'm doing, which is tracing one and then cutting one. Just depends on what you want to do. Okay. Here's one. And so on this one, I actually colored on the outside and I traced on the side that I wanted to be showing. So it depends on what you want. But this one, I the stem, I have the tracing on the back part. So if you want it to show, which I do want it to show on this one, then you can decide to do that. It just depends on what kind of color you want to have on there. And I also have some other color markers with me here. So I can actually add color to it because I have some bland colors. Some, I don't have a lot of color here. So, okay, for the orange and the green, I'll actually keep that for the other white ones that I have. Okay, so now I'm going to use this. I'll use the red here. around the edges. There we go. Okay. Cut this one. Please. Okay, here's another one. That's two. I'm going to use this blue here as another one. Do a little bit of the yellow too. Oops. 
I'm going to see if I can get all eight of the petals oops, um, with the paper products that I have because I don't really know if this plastic one that I have is going to stick, so we'll see. But um, I cut out around this stencil on the box because it's easier to cut on a smaller piece than using this whole thing and holding it in my hand. And then we have another one for three. Go ahead and do this one. Okay. Three for one. There we go. it easier. There's another one. And that's four. Okay, I'm going to do one on this color here. Oopsies. around the edges, just like on all the other ones. There's another one. That's five. I'll go ahead and use this paper here. So I'm going to cut that off. The really fun part about this project is that because we're using recycled materials, we don't really know what colors we're going to get. So you can choose any sort of um, paper, plastic product that you or your family has used. And instead of throwing that out, then we get to use it for this lovely project. Okay, so we're going to do another one. Place all the way around. Again, there we go. Hopefully you see that that well. I'm gonna cut around it, just like all the other ones, to make it easier. And then we can cut around. where we drew the line. We have one more. Okay, we have one, two, three. This is what I have so far, I'll show you. Our lovely flower. One, two, three, four, five, six. The little centerpiece and we have the stem, so we need two more petals. Let's see, I'm going to use this here. But I'm 
going to use this orange pen. And the stencil, so I have some orange on them. Okay, trace around. Now we have our stencil. I'm going to cut this out. Here's another one. And now we just need one more. this buff. Oh no, I'll use this granola bar. Good to move your fingers around, you know. Okay. Cut this out. Okay. Right. Now that we have all eight petals, then we have to move everything to the side. We have to close up our markers so we don't color on ourselves like that. <laughs> and this is what we have. Okay, so for this to look like a flower, we want to basically put everything around in a circle like that. And we're going to put this on top of the, the petal. So then they kind of go underneath it like that. Okay, so I'm going to start with the glue and I can kind of switch around depending on what people have. Um, okay, so we'll start with the stem. We can flip it over to the side that we don't want to be shown, to the side that we want to, that, to stick onto the paper. And we can put one dot, two dots, and three dots. And that's all that we need. And so stick it down so it's touching the bottom of the paper and we want it to be in the middle of the page. So like that. We can hold it down, so count to 10. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there we are. Okay, so now we want to move on to the petals. We can put this whichever way that you want it to look is the way that you can put them on. So I'm just going to kind of put stuff on here in the order that I would like it to be in. And then we can glue it on in that order. 
but I'm not squeezing it in. You want to try to make sure that you can fit all of the pieces in there. So now that I have that and everything is close enough, so you can kind of see that there's like a little tiny space for a circle. And that's where this is going to go on top at the end. But before we do that, then we want to take one of these. And if we have the glue, the white glue, We'll just try to drop down. There we go. Just one drop. I'm actually going to spread the drop. We don't need any more glue, but it would be good to have it spread out a little bit more. So we can use this part, this glue, orange part, whoopsies, this orange part just to spread that on. Put it down right where we got it. Sweet. Push down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Wipe this glue off of here before it starts getting spilled. And that sort of moved everything around, but that's okay. Okay, so now I'll show you how to use glue stick for this. So we'll take our next guy. We'll put glue all over this. So it looks like this. And then we can just put it down and squeeze. Count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'll show you another one of those. So we use our glue stick, rub it all over. And then we hold it down for ten seconds. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and now I'll show you how to use the tape. I prefer, I like a glue stick more, um, but obviously not everyone has a glue stick right now. So I'm just going to show you guys how to use every single thing, just in case. Okay. So for tape, you want to pull off a piece of tape that's like this long. We'll rip that. And we want to take the tape, hold it with two fingers, and we'll put our thumb here. We'll take our other hand and we'll pull the tape over on, and lift our thumb and then put our thumb on top of it. So we hold it like this. And then we take this hand and we pull on this other part. We hold that and we fold it over on top underneath our thumb. So now what we have is like this little tunnel, this little, I can see, see through. <laughs> and we want to put that on the back of the piece that we're using. So we'll put it on like this. There we go. And then we can stick that on right where we want it to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then it sticks. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna use this glue stick again. Um, and I'll go all the way around. But once again, if you don't have a glue stick, you can just do um, 
use the white glue or use the tape, just like how I showed you guys how to do that. Oopsies. It's easy to drop these little pieces. glue onto there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then now we have one more. So cut all this glue. Oopsies, I keep dropping all these. Okay. And then we'll put that guy right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now the last thing that we need is our center. I'm gonna put that right on top. So I'm going to use this glue stick. Do like that all over here. And I'll put it right on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then here's the flower. And I'm going to write my name on the top. Just because I want everyone to know that it's mine and my beautiful flower. I think everyone else should write their name on the top as well. Okay, creativity class, thank you for coming to this week's Arts and Crafts with Miss Elizabeth. We got to make our lovely little flower made from recycled material, and I can't wait to see what we do next time. So I will see you next video, and Bye.